The show The Flying Lovers is about the artist Marc Chagall, who was a great user of colour. Um, and the way we get colour onto the stage is through light. So the set doesn't change at all through the production. It has a white backdrop, it has quite a muted colour tone in the rest of the set. I think the lighting really helps to tell the story and to create the environments that people are within and to teach us a lot about what Marc Chagall was doing with colour and with paint. We're really lucky with when we made this show because the technology we're using to light it with has only been on the market for one, two, maybe three years, some of it. And it's all, almost all LED colour changing fixtures. So each light has inside it red, green, blue, and maybe a lime coloured LED chip. And we mix those together and we can make just about any colour in the world that we want to make. So the fact that the, the colour of the lighting changes so much in the show is allowed by that technology. There were a lot of power cuts when I was growing up, and where I lived, instead of being lit just by fluorescent tubes, it became lit by torches and candlelight and paraffin lamps, and became that kind of magic toy shop world that people talk about, but it transformed the way I perceived my immediate environment. Basically, light created magic. I'm very aware of the light, the way it changes in different locations, as light changes through the day and through seasons. And that, in theatre, that would be considered naturalism. And what we tend to do is much more theatrical and more heightened, but we all feel something when we're bathed in moonlight or at sunset, or when we're by the sea and the light is bouncing up off the water, when it snows and suddenly everything is blinding. And we can use those things not realistically, but as tools emotionally and in storytelling on stage. And an audience connect with those because they are experiences that directly relate to their own, their own lives.